Hi, I'm Tony Sycamore, Senior Market Analyst at IG in Australia. A familiar story on Friday night as the S&P and the NASDAQ ripped to fresh record highs supported by megatech including NVIDIA, Amazon and Alphabet. The NASDAQ added 1.8% for the week and is now up almost 7% calendar year to date. Following a run of stronger than expected economic data this year, the Atlanta Fed's GDP Now estimate for quarter one GDP in the US is at 3.4%, which does raise questions about whether the US economy is slowing or actually re-accelerating. Further light on this subject will be shed by this week's key macro events, including Fed speakers and inflation and retail sales data for January. For the headline annual rate of inflation, the market is looking for it to fall to 2.9% year on year from 3.4% prior. Core inflation is also expected to ease to 3.7% down from 3.9% year on year prior which suggests to me that heading into the data that the risks are possibly for a firmer than expected set of inflation numbers. Let's take a look at the chart of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ to see where we are as we start the new week. Right, so the S&P 500, as we've noted over the past couple of weeks, pushing to fresh record highs there. That hasn't been a surprise, if you recall. We caught this move higher into the back end of 2023. So in some respects, while we haven't caught this move here, we're not under as much pressure as potentially some who didn't get this move here. But what I'm liking about this chart for a pullback potentially, and this is something we've been talking about for a few weeks now, is the fact we're continuing to see some bearish RSI divergence. Additionally, we're out now from testing this trendline resistance from this December 4100 high which picks up this July high, and then now coming in around 50-30ish. So this to me is what I would call a very, very important level, almost a dirty Harry moment, if you like. If you feel lucky and you think it goes through, fantastic. But for me, there's enough reason now to suggest that we're getting towards these levels where I think the pullback could come from. Keeping in mind, as we also spoke about last week, the middle of February into the first week of March is traditionally a weaker time seasonally. When I look at the NASDAQ, much the same. The run-up from the NASDAQ has been incredibly impressive. We caught this move higher, and then we moved to a more neutral bias at the start of 2024. Of course, that has since rallied about 65 to 7% up until Friday night's high, coming in just below 18,000. I wouldn't again be looking to fight this blow off type movement, but I do think that a pullback is not too far away. And what I'm looking for is a break below this trendline resistance coming in around 17,300, which I think would signify that potentially the NASDAQ run higher has run its course and that potentially we see a deeper pullback towards this 200 day moving average, potentially maybe just towards 16,000. But at the very, very least, this move here does at some point of time need to be corrected. Thank you for listening and have a good week ahead.